Is Finland part of Scandinavia? The answer is no. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe. Saying no to that particular question is cutting a very, very long story short. You wouldn't be wrong in saying no, but like I said, you're cutting a lot out of it. Now the reason why I'm making this particular video today is because of the fact that, well, there is one question that I get asked quite a lot from people outside of Finland, and that is, is Finland part of Scandinavia? Well, let's get into it. For the answer to the question, is Finland part of Scandinavia, you've got to do a bit of digging into the country's geography, the history of the region, the languages spoken there, and the shifting politics over the course of long centuries stretching back to the murky medieval period when these countries were first emerging as proper nations. After all, Finland does share a border with both Sweden and Norway, so there has been significant contact between them for hundreds of years, and along with those two nations and Denmark, which is the third country generally thought of as part of Scandinavia. Finland also shares a great deal in terms of culture, history, and affinity for the sea, and lots, lots more. But when it comes to the majority of these definitions, Finland usually gets left out of conversations on Scandinavia. To complicate matters even more, the definition of Scandinavia and whether Finland is in Scandinavia or not depends on the context and what exactly it's being referred to. A good place to start might be with the actual word Scandinavia and taking a look at where it comes from in the first place. Originally the word stems from a region at the very southern tip of Sweden called Scania. Historians say that the ancient Romans were the first to give the region that name when in their explorations of the lands to the north of their strongholds in what is now Germany, they believed it to be an island. But although it's generally agreed that it was the Romans who named the area Scania, the root of the word is disputed. It's widely held that Scania, and therefore Scandinavia, comes from a Germanic word for danger or damage, the same root that gives English the word skating. While the Scania region was once a part of Denmark, it has belonged to Sweden since the Swedes finally won a series of wars over control of the area in 1720. Now when I say a series of wars, I mean a serious amount of wars between those two countries. It's a little bit ridiculous and a little bit hilarious, maybe we might go over it in a different video. Anyway, to this day, Scania remains the name of the southernmost Swedish province and is home to 33 municipalities, including Sweden's third largest city, Malmo. But when you look at a map of the area that was roughly designated Scania by those long ago Roman explorers, and then zoom out and see what a tiny piece of land it really is in the context of the region of Scandinavia, it seems weird that the entire massive area encompassing Sweden, Norway, and Denmark would come to be named after this relatively tiny spot. Oh god, I'm just after coming to the part of the script here where we have to talk about geography. I'm very sorry, I do have to bore you for two or three paragraphs, but anyway, please stick with me. In the context of the question, is Finland part of Scandinavia? <sighs> yeah, yeah, we have to go through this. I'm sorry. Nerd! Finland is the eighth largest country in Europe by landmass, but at the same time it is the European Union's most sparsely populated nation. It shares a border with both Sweden and Norway to its north and west, and with Russia to the east. The southern part of the country occupies a peninsula separated from Sweden by the Gulf of Bothnia to the west, the Baltic Sea to the southwest, and the Gulf of Finland to the south, across which is Estonia. Given that Finland is yet another northern European country with a similar culture and with a centuries long shared history with Sweden, Norway and Denmark, not to mention the fact that it literally borders two of them, you would think that the relationship between Finland and Scandinavia would be fairly cut and dried. But the traditionally designated Scandinavian countries are somewhat isolated on their own peninsula, with Denmark jutting up and away from the rest of Europe, and the North Sea separating all three from the rest of the world to the east, giving them centuries of relative 
isolation and insularity. And as can be seen with a quick glance at the map, the answer to is Finland part of the Scandinavian peninsula is a resounding no. Finland's political and historical case as a result of its geography is different as well. And it too colours whether Finland is in Scandinavia. That eastern border Finland shares with Russia has long been a game changer in terms of the country's history. In fact, Finland's capital Helsinki is less than 200 miles away from St. Petersburg, which was the capital of the Russian Empire for centuries. Having such a powerful and ambitious neighbour on your doorstep has understandably made a mighty big influence on the development of Finland's culture and identity, and must be factored into the equation of is Finland a part of Scandinavia, and if not, well why not? But the complications don't end there, because as mentioned above, on Finland's other side lies Sweden, which for many hundreds of years was also a massive, strong, war, wealthy and well-equipped world power with empire-building ambitions of its own. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am stuck in the middle with you. Further muddying the question of is Finland Scandinavian is the fact that the Swedish are not only Finland's neighbours, they were once the rulers of Finland. The Swedes actually controlled Finland for over six centuries, starting sometime in the mid 13th century when the Swedish seized control of Finland and began sending thousands of colonists to live there and spread their culture and language. This period of Swedish colonization and control of Finland occurred during the era of the Crusades, when the Swedish government and religious power elites saw it as not only a holy mission, but a sort of a lucrative venture by which they could exploit Finland's people and resources. Given that over the course of hundreds of years, Swedish colonists had made themselves at home and became assimilated in coastal areas, while at the same time importing their language and customs, the identity of the Finnish people was forever altered. So the question remains, is Finland Scandinavian? And given the influence of the Swedes in Finland, which is after all another nation that is universally accepted as part of Scandinavia, why is Finland not part of Scandinavia also. Well, the funny thing about tossing out the Swedish governors and shedding their control by 1809, the Russians. They had stepped in and incorporated Finland into the Russian Empire as the Grand Duchy of Finland. Hello there. Despite the Finns declaring themselves independent after the Russian Revolution in 1917, Russian influence on the internal affairs of Finland continued well into the Cold War era. Which brings us to the next complication in the turbulent and confusing mess that is the question of whether Finland is a part of Scandinavia. Are you ready? Here it is. Language. Yay! Nerd! So despite Russians stepping in in the 1800s, the Swedes had already ruled over Finland for over half a millennia and succeeded in integrating thousands of their people into coastal areas of Finland via colonisation projects. So it makes perfect sense that the Swedish language is widely spoken. Indeed, Finnish and Swedish are both recognised as national languages of Finland. The inclusion of Swedish as a nationality recognised official language, not to mention all the rest of the history of Sweden's intermingling with Finland's people, governance and history would seem like a strong argument in favour of affirming that Finland is part of Scandinavia. But just hold on a second, who's this coming down the ramp with a steel chair? Yep, it's Mr. Language. That's because while the three nations that are traditionally recognised as Scandinavia share mutually intelligible language, that is Norwegian, Swedes and Danes can all pretty much understand each other in all three languages. Finnish is not a part of the same linguistic family. Finnish is a Uralic language, more closely related to Estonian than Swedish. Indeed, it's only one of four languages spoken in the EU that is not rooted in Indo-European, the common thread from which most European languages stem from. The other point that helps explain why Finland is not considered a Scandinavian country is that despite all those years of Swedish control and colonisation and the adoption of Swedish as one of Finland's 
national languages, the land area the colonising Swedes occupied is relatively tiny compared to the vast size of the country as a whole. As a result, the native language of fully 89% of Finns is Finnish, with only 5.3% of the country's populace speaking Swedish as their native tongue. So at the end of the day, with the vast majority of Finnish people speaking Finnish, who would have thought that by the way? Jesus, it's crazy isn't it? Anyway, with those of the traditionally defined Scandinavian nations, we end up with a fairly strong argument as to why Finland is not part of Scandinavia. The funny thing about the word Scandinavia is that despite its roots in those ancient Roman mariners naming part of what is now Sweden Scania when they mistakenly thought it was an island, its modern day use is a relatively recent thing. Referring to people from Norway, Sweden and Denmark as Scandinavian only began to become common in the mid 1800s. That's because it was popularised as part of what has now been termed the Scandinavism movement a political position that sought to unite Norway, Sweden and Denmark in a spirit of cooperation. Scandinavists promoted the idea of a uniquely Scandinavian shared past through culture, literature and language, led largely by students and looked on with suspicion by the monarchs ruling their nations, the Scandinavists sought to unify all three countries in a manner similar to those who sought to do the same in Germany and Italy at the same time. Keep in mind too that during this period and as a result of the Napoleonic Wars, Finland had been brought under the wing of the Russian Empire. Thus despite Finland's Swedish immigrant population, Voisvistleri supporting the Scandinavist position for the nation as a whole, the Tsar and his armies were a tremendous reason why Finland and Scandinavia were further apart than ever. Another important factor in those 19th century students choosing not to include Finland in their definition of Scandinavia that must be acknowledged is that there was a certain amount of long-standing prejudice on the part of the Swedes towards the Finns. There's a well-documented history through the 17th and 18th centuries of Swedish people treating the Finns as a subjugated people, one whose language and culture were primitive compared to that of Sweden. Hmm, I wonder, as an Irish person, that story sounds oddly familiar. I wonder where I've heard that before. Hmm. While we have seen why there is some understandable confusion over the term Scandinavia and what is meant by Scandinavian countries, it is actually rather widely accepted that when you hear the term Nordic countries, the speaker is referencing not only Norway, Sweden and Denmark, but also Finland and Iceland along with all of their associated territories. This more comprehensive set of definitions is the one used most by modern scholars. It is also much more common to hear reference to the more inclusive Nordic countries or simply the Nordics from natives of the region. So do the Finns consider themselves to be Scandinavian? Well look, of course the majority will say no and of course also opinions are going to vary from person to person but even a minimal bit of research will turn up plenty of people who are from the area who say that they find the term Nordic to be not only more inclusive but also a more logical term. And finally we have reached the end. If you have stuck with me from the start until now Honestly, thank you. I don't expect you to because that was a crazy, crazy video. I didn't think I'd go down those few rabbit holes that I did, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you leave a comment. Please do anything. Ask me any question, whether what you think as well. That would be amazing. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Thank you very much.